Welcome to Mr. V Teaching Math. In this session, we are going to be looking at how to calculate the surface area of this object. Or in other words, if we had to paint this object, how much paint would we need to put on the outside of this entire object? This object being, of course, called a cylinder. A couple of things to keep in mind. This end is fairly simple. It's this shape. And you will note that there are two of them. So that's fairly simple. This section is a little bit more difficult. In reality, once we tear it apart, you'll see that it forms the shape of a rectangle. So what we need to do is calculate the shape of this rectangle and the shape of two of these circles. Let's begin with the circles. The formula, if you remember, for the area of a circle and for the sake of this question, let's say the radius of our object, let's say the radius is five centimeters. So from the center to the edge is five centimeters. And let's say the height of our object from here to here, let's make the height 10 centimeters. To calculate the area of this circle, we take our formula. In our class, we use pi of 3.14. Our radius is five. Remember your order of operations, or bed mass. Brackets and then exponents. This must be done first. So we'll leave the 3.14 alone. 5 squared is not 5 times 2. That is 5 times 5. That comes out to 25. And of course this can be calculated using a handy calculator if you have such a thing or you can do it the long way if you need to, but your answer comes out to 78.5. Now it's important to remember, this is area. Our units in area are always squared. Since we're in centimeters, this is centimeters squared. Now if we remember, going back to our original object, we have two circles. So we need to remember to times this by two. So that you know that the two circles have a total of 175 square centimeters. Now that part is fairly simple. Now let's return to this part where things get a little more complicated. We know when calculating the area of a rectangle that our formula is area equals length times width. And in this object, it's fairly simple to figure out that the width of the object is equivalent to the original height, which we had said the height was 10 centimeters. So that will be our width. However, what is the length? That is not so obvious. If we take our object and we wrap our rectangle around it, we can see that this is the length of the rectangle which is otherwise known as circumference. So in order to know the length that we need here, we have to calculate the circumference of the circle. So let's leave this formula aside for now. And using what we remember from earlier, our circumference is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. And our radius, as we had said earlier, is 5 centimeters. Once again, 
our pi will be 300, sorry, 3.14, our radius is 5. Since this is all multiplication, you don't have to worry about bed mass or order of operations, you can simply multiply. Circumference is a form of perimeter. It is not squared. It is simply the centimeter units. This number, the circumference of this circle, is the length of our rectangle. And so we can take 31.4, take that number, and that is the length of our rectangle. And now we can multiply. We end up with 314 centimeters squared. We then take that answer and this answer, this and this, and we will add them. 314 plus 157. and we get 471. Remember that we are doing surface area, therefore it must be squared, and we're dealing with centimeters, so this is centimeters squared. And that is a reminder of how to calculate the surface area of a cylinder.